Hello everybody, welcome to episode 34. Before we jump into this episode, I want to take a moment and thank you all for hanging out with us over here on YouTube. And for those that have come and joined us on Twitch stream days, Thursday through Saturday, uh, thank you. Now, this week is a holiday week over here in the States, so I'm only uploading today's episode and uh, taking the rest of the week off to prep with the family and hang out with them. But uh, if you, before we jump into this episode, if you haven't done so yet, hit that like button, hit that follow button, and let's jump into this episode and see how we make a limited unobtainium. All right, uh, let's get into this. Uh, we're gonna make, we're going to first, uh, I want to make, Unobtainium, so we can add it over here to this laser. And I've been coming over here, grabbing this, and just tossing it in here. Uh, we're getting redstone and cinnabar ore, which does not process through this. So we're going to have to figure out something with those guys. Uh, but first, I want to get some unobtainium. And so we're going to make uh, an industrial smelter here. Okay, so let's see here. Let's automatically make all of that. Make the smelt or blast furnace, which is one of the ingredients. Open. Of our gears. Uh, about 10 more in bar. Just so we have it. All right. So now we've got the industrial melter here. Uh, I want to add it to this line of stuff here. Uh, roughly right here would be good. Uh, there we go. Industrial smelter. Let's see. That way we can get all of the augments and configure this. We want the top to be input, output. All right. Uh, uh, just trying to remember here what all I need. At thermal, I want three of these and uh, this is the highest we have so far. So, oh, uh, let's make a pattern provider. We'll go with the extended version because I don't know how many recipes we're going to need for this, but good to have like four instead of putting a uh, four way into it. There we go. We're going to say it lo locks mode, does not push. We'll set this to wrench. Where's our wrench here? There we go. It automatically pushes it into there. So now, uh, augment. There we go. We can make one of these. Because we unattached it, uh, it stopped responding properly. So we can toss those in there. That is complete now. We can toss this in here and. Uh, we've had this recipe, dragon steel ingots, in our inventory for like the last three episodes, I want to say. Uh, it was because I was trying to get unobtainium here. All right, so now, uh, one of the issues with unobtainium uh, is it's made in the industrial smelter, but it requires these. Uh, Presnet crystals 
which requires that shulker and vibrant crystals. The thing is, this never like I I haven't I haven't really used this. I haven't captured many shulkers. I do have enough shulkers uh, here to do a uh, six sets of these crystals. So we're gonna have to manually make them. Uh, if I print crystals, we want six of these. And that is... Where is that? I'm not sure where that's working at. Oh, over here. Alright, we've got the six vibrant crystals. I couldn't figure a way. If you guys know a way to automate that, please let me know down in the comments. That way we can set up vibrant crystals being made so we can get those automatically being made. Uh, for a period of time, I was like, oh, yes, I'm, I'm just going to make it so that it automates it. I never once was looking at that laser IO or the the laser here. Um it, Ah, I can't walk straight. I there we go. Another one. It's because their health is all over the place, so I don't know. Um, but once we get that, we can now request, uh, I want to say dragon steel. Uh, I want six of these. And we're missing the dragon's breath. And netherite ingots. I need to teach you netherite ingots. So let's come up here. I go in here and say netherite ingots. We'll just teach you this basic recipe because we have the stuff. Simple, simple thing to do. All right. We're almost through all of the shulkers. So now if we say dragon steel and we say we want 12 it's going to say we need dragon's breath now dragon's breath can be gotten through a loot fabricator or through one of these uh extractors from zycraft i have not built one of those for this yet Zy at I oh we have the extractor I did build the extractor for it uh we need the dragon's head that we have here and we now need a functional at functional a functional storage drawer okay so now that we have that that and that we should should now be able to get uh, three of these. So sure, why not? And we don't need a void. We'll keep it just so that it's uh, whatever we have, whatever it makes. Uh, we need. We have bricks in our inventory, so what we're going to do is, right here, place this down. 
dragon's head here. Extractor on top. And if we set this here. There we go. It is producing. Took it a little bit. So now that that is producing dragon's breath, we'll give it a few moments. And make that last of our uh, precedent, uh, precinct crystals. All right. Um, we want to configure this so that it is locked and link it. There we go. Now, if we say dragon steel. Uh, say we want, uh, I want six of them. We're missing two. Missing one. Looking at this number right here. There we go. Now that it's got all of that. Me getting hungry like that is not good. Okay, we've got that. We've got that. Now, make this. We need what? Uh, six vibranium. So, we should easily have that covered. I mean, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful collection of that. All right, so let's set this up so it doesn't auto output right now. Let that run for a little bit. Uh, now, I, I want to get rid of this stuff out of here. I want to take care of it. Um, and honestly, I'm thinking of setting up a laser I.O. node uh, to take care of this and just send it right into here. I will have to figure up the, the stuff that it can't handle. Um... Yeah, just, just to see how it handles. Oh, we took the efficiency out of here. Let's just set back in there. There you go. And we didn't add this diamond upgrades to this. Like we wanted to. Okay, so there we go. That's good. Alright, so we've got 12 of this unobtainium. That should complete that quest. Uh, now we can easily go here, make a block of that. If you haven't figured it out, I've, I'm making two blocks. Uh, to add into this so we get the raw lemon obtainium. I mean, I was like, wait, what did I just do there? And then that just picked it up and put it back into the system. Okay, so now we have it going through all, all uh, three of these. 
just set this all up like this. See if that helps spread these out more. And so now we can easily get those dropping in here. I know it's like, you're backing up the system. Do we have any raw aluminum in here? We have two. We have nine raw iron. Like, these are going pretty much as fast as they can. Uh, cause I think I have all the speed upgrades and energy upgrades into them. So. So what we can do here... So uh, get some lasers. Uh, one laser node. I think we're going to need a couple item cards that are blank. Um, card over clockers, I guess, would be useful. Let's see here. What is this color orange? So we want to send this one orange. And if we get, say, a filter, basic filter would work. Uh, and Get a uh, raw ore, uh, a raw vibranium, raw unobtainium, and raw this. Uh, we we can uh, go into the basic filter, click the raw stuff into here. And if we place this laser node here, and we go down, uh, we can put this in here. We can actually change this to extract on the orange channel. Put the basic filter in. Put these overclockers in. Uh, just pull as fast as it can out of here. Right? Okay, so now, if uh, we go back to uh, at laser, grab our logic, or our, our laser wrench here, and they slap that like so. Uh, if we have this, okay, it is top accessible. Oh, we have a filter here. That's preventing anything besides that. Okay. So what if we add another... No. Let's see here. What, what all colors are we using in this system? Uh, down. White. Uh, white down has white and orange.
Is this part of it? Yes, yeah, so what is this? Uh, green? What is it inputting on green? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. Now it does. Um, going back, looking at your old handiwork. So let's see here. What if we go purple? Okay, so... You can now insert on purple in here. And say we turn this bottom one to channel purple. There we go. There we go. Um, I'll let that run for a little bit, add more stuff to the filter as we need it. Um, now we're getting unobtainium over here. And we're going to need to put it into a functional drawer here. Functional. Yes, this is this is stuff that I normally prep before stream uh, before recording, but I did not do it today. Alright. Now let's see here. Configuration link. Configuration. There we go. We got unobtainium, vibranium, and all the modium being made. Uh, thanks to this laser node here. This raw iron into here. Because sure, why not? Yeah, li like this stuff is not being processed. I, I would need to you figure up um, some way to process that. And like, if these fill up, that's fine. Uh, but now the, the backlog's not going to happen. Where it's like, oh, Malcor's just emptying all of this all out and dropping it all over there at one big bushel of time all right guys uh i think that is it for this episode i know we only covered us making unobtainium and adding it to our already system but you know sometimes sometimes it's the small little preps to get towards the end here uh we're working like I said, we're working towards the star here, and one of the things next episode I'm going to look at working on is can we set up uh, the plutonium pellet? So I'm going to look at that, see how hard it is going to be for us to get plutonium pellets uh, being produced in mass quantity. And until next episode, y'all have a wonderful day and later, Gators.